morning, guys. It's not Friday. Thank you, Jesus. And it may be Friday when y'all get this. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. I put up the George Lopez and I see they are coming in. Add it, okay? But uh, y'all hit me down in the comments. Go watch that video and check it out and give me your opinion, you know. We all know it's comedy and uh, it is what it is. But some people say it's a thin line between comedy and uh, talking shit, you know. <laughs> But a lot of people use comedy to talk shit. And George Lopez said that's the way he has done it forever and forever, ever. Good morning, guys. Yeah, my body tired. I had to get in early, get to a meeting. I'm getting ready to hit this freeway and this traffic. Y'all, they done started construction on both sides. I'm like, y'all, what the hell sandwich going on? What is popping? What's going on, guys? Y'all, what's the tea? I need Las Vegas to shut the freeway down one week and just work on one side and then another week work on the other side because this is ridiculous when you can't get to work at all. I mean, the northbound and southbound messed up. I said, this is ridiculous, but enough whining. Yeah, we had a Black Ink crew on last night. We gonna just throw this all together. We gonna start off with a little dirt, dirt. Did y'all see that new trailer for Real Housewives of Atlanta? And the word on the curb is that for season ten, they asking or uh, they want Nene and uh, Kim to come back. But on that new trailer, Kim is on there. <clears throat> and as soon as she get there, she's at the um, housewarming party for Sheree. As soon as she get there. Kenya stars. I'm like, Kenya, Kenya, you know what? I gave you the benefit of the doubt, but I'm going to have to tell you to have a seat in the fuck section, Kenya Moore. Come on now. I know you want to stay at 1.9 or Candy got 1.9 and you at 1.2, however much you make it, but come on, girl. <clears throat> Let other people shine too. And then talking about the girl Doug Lips and you always talking about somebody bashing you and hating on you or whatever i need for you to go and take a uh, page out of your book on how y'all want people to treat y'all but you know what and i've said it it's good for tv come on boo -boo. you driving like you scared we gotta go she driving like she's scared okay sorry she over there it's it's four legs come down to two she over there driving like she's skating on maybe construction right here. But anyway, y'all go over there and check out the trailer. I'm not putting it in nothing because they gave me a copyright. YouTube is doing the, the most. And I don't know what's going on but how they do the clicks and the views and whatever. But I see a lot of you big YouTubers. I know this is going to change their lifestyle because... A lot of people live, you know, this was their main income. And if I'm a small YouTuber and it has changed mine drastically, could you imagine the bigger YouTubers who live off of this? But anyway, y'all go over there and check out the trailer. Candy look like she ready to drag a hoe. I said they done, they done took Candy to the limit. <laughs> and I ain't mad, Candy. When Candy jumped up and said, I'm gonna drag this bitch. I was like, you know what, Candy? It's about time you let these heifers know to quit fucking with you. Cause I know there's people pry and pick and whatever, you know. And uh, I always tell people in life, anybody bring a bone, carry a bone. And that's a very true statement. Oh, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm spraying y'all early this morning. But uh, y'all go over there and check out that new trailer. The game, I guess he punched somebody off duty, security guard or whatever, whoever, and he thought he was facing jail time, but he ended up getting probation for three years and having to do anger management. And I said, you know what? I, I'm glad something happened. Lord forgive me to this young man because he needs to slow it down. He's a bully. And just because you came from uh, the streets and whatever, and I know they said you could take a person from it but they'll never change the way they are 
it's time for the game to change its ways. He's a bully. He's a bully. And we're gonna get to Black Ink Crew in just a sec. Let me see, was there anything else that I seen? And it looked like T.I. and Tiny, it's just over. It's over now. I think Tiny need to just pack up her stuff and just chuck her deuces. It's time for her to slide to the left, but you know what, Tiny, you did. You did file for the divorce, okay? So, you know, you might have to live in your truth. Y'all, it's hot. I got this sweat on this morning. So, we're here in Vegas. It's freezing one day, and then the next day, it's cold. And uh, I guess it's like that in New York. They got a storm, yeah. Praying for the people in NY. Praying for the people in New Orleans. It's just a lot of shit going on. A lot of stuff happening. But uh, you guys, um, Black Ink Crew last night, basically, it basically where uh, Sky was bullying the young lady, and she decided to run up on her, you know. But little mama tiny, and she was trying to defend her honor, but she quit, you know. I say, she ain't no bitch gonna run me off. You might make me mad and have me pissed off, and, and we might not be getting along, but you're not gonna stop me from making my money. And uh, shit, you know, celebrity people, you tattooing and you good? Shit. We'll all be some miserable motherfuckers up in there because I wouldn't go nowhere. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> the young ladies went down to uh, 125 to tell them about what was going on. I think at 1, 113, whatever. The first story, the second story. And uh, they went down there to tell C's that uh, Sky down there bullying people. She fucking with folks. The bitch coming in there half naked. He noticed Duchess had ran the fuck off. And, uh, you know, he needed to see what was going on, what was popping. Y'all, this traffic. I don't know what's going on in Las Vegas. But uh, they need to do something about this traffic. Let me get ready to just come off because this is crazy. So anyway, um, the two young ladies go down there and tell C's what's going on. So he goes to the other store to find out, you know, Sky, what's, what, what's, what's your problem? So, you know, Sky start crying because C's and Sky have been knowing each other. their childhood friends for a very long time. And she said, you know, my mother deal with bipolarism. Uh, my mother's bipolar. Sorry. If I didn't use that word right. Mental illness. And you know it probably is in Sky too. Sky probably have something going on within herself. And she said at 14 I had to just start fending for myself. And it kind of explains the things that's going on with Sky. You know she had the babies young. She said she had to take care of herself. And we, we can't judge her if we didn't walk in her shoes. And no I'm not trying to say it's okay for Sky to bully people because she had a rough childhood. I think everybody I know have been through some, but what we gotta do is chuck it up, pray about it, and keep it moving. So she basically tells C's, you know, I've been calling my mom, I haven't talked to my mom, I don't know where she at, I don't know what's going on. And uh, he's like, I knew he said normally when Scott gets to acting like this, he knows something's going on. So, you know, he played like big brother and uh, he put her in the car and they go to the boogie down Bronx. I guess in New York, that's like the hood hood, like our west side of Las Vegas. And they, you know, start searching for her mom and the phone rings, 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 but she won't answer it, you know. And uh, Sky says she off her meds and she just want to talk to her mom. She just want to make sure her mama's okay. And, and we all have mothers. And anybody who loved their mother or who's dealt with a situation to where, you know, your mama's involved, I don't care what goes on, you know, there's nothing like that motherly love. So Sky says she's, you know, acting out because of that, but she ran a young lady off. She succeeded. The other young lady that had the baby, she's thinking about coming back. And the one she had the baby by, he want her to sit at home and let the baby suck on her titties all day, every day. And she's like, nah, ain't gonna happen, Captain. So she's gonna return. It shows what Duchess ran off. And next week it's gonna it's showing the previews of um, 
the young lady telling Duchess that C's had got her sister pregnant or whatever. I don't know, you know. It just looked like Duchess was just fed up. And basically, when a woman's fed up, but R. Kelly song, that song, when a woman's fed up, there is nothing you can do about it, y'all, me and this piece of hair. <laughs> but I like my curly hair. I think it, it fits me, you guys. But anyway, it look like next week gonna be on and popping. And Caesar was dropping hints that him and Duchess, you know, basically wasn't together because he said Duchess wanted to go run pretty in pink. She didn't want to be in Y. He didn't want to live in North Carolina and she didn't want to live in New York. So it's kind of showing the separation and then eventually it's going the separation is going to happen we've been seeing on social media she's dating a football player or she having fun you know he's saying fuck a woman he don't need one right now he's opening up a, a black ink at atl chicago black ink is his new york and i guess basically he's gonna franchise i'm gonna do whatever so kudos to C's. you know yeah she may she said she did not use you. They all had the same contract when she came on the show. So you know what? It is what it is. Y'all take it for good, for bad, happy or sad. It, it, and keep it moving. <laughs> you guys, y'all have a lucky day. That's my little discussion of Black and Crew and everything that's going on. Go back and check the George Lopez video out. And you guys, y'all follow me on the IG and Twitter, you guys. Y'all have a lucky day. Bye-bye, guys. I'm tired. It's my Friday. Okay, guys. I got my food. I got some chicken wings, lemon pepper, hot wings, fries, a nice big burger with some ranch and uh, some celery stick. <laughs>